cheesesteaks and hoagies. Real shaved ribeye from Philly to the land. There's a location near you. You can order online too. Steaksandhoagies.com. Tailgate party pack for you. Call her 10. Grab some napkins. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. To all our men and women in uniform. I've been a lifelong fan. 20 years of military. Come back. And the find your afternoon show is f***ing horrible. Thanks. From the Alan Cox Show. Horrible, horrible. On 100.7 WMMS. Hey, I am going to have the Sonic Temple tickets for you, by the way, next week. They announced Metallica doing two nights of the four, Friday and Sunday. They will have Rob Zombie and Alice in Chains opening, respectively. So next week, for everybody hitting me up, you can have Sonic Temple tickets. I am. Four-day VIP field passes. That is May 8th, 9th, 10th, and 11th at Crew Stadium down there in Columbus. So, yes, um, I will be hitting you up um, with Sonic uh, Temple tickets next week. Art and music festival. It's not just music. Hey, Doug. Yes. What's up? What's up, man? So this is the first time I called in your show, Alan. I've been listening for a few weeks now, and, and I'm kind of impressed by things. So anyway, I heard what you said about the people in Green, Ohio. I kind of live in a community similar. Uh, North Ridgeville, Ohio is about the same way. Maybe a little bigger city, but they kind of have the same ideology. Um, you know, I look at things and I see how, uh, you know, the vice presidential candidate and the president uses racism and fear mongering to try to motivate people to vote for people. And, uh, I, I, it isn't hard to wonder where these kids are coming up with things like that because, you know, the adults are doing it. You think that the kids in high school are paying attention to what the presidential candidates are doing no he's he's, more so than what we think because you know what 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 they're doing is they're getting on to uh their their uh alternate websites and stuff like that and their influencers and those people are the ones that are making it the connection to the kids through their video game mics and stuff like that but yeah and and how are and and how um teenagers I get. I guess going back to the beginning of what you were saying, Doug, I'm curious how Kamala Harris is stoking uh, fears. No, no, of... I think he's talking about Trump. Trump. Oh, Trump. Trump. Oh, yeah, I Trump see. Trump and J.D. Vance. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he said. He I said. Mean, vice didn't they just I say see. that migrants were eating people's dogs yeah. and cats. Yeah. I mean, it, it's ridiculous, man. I'm white. I'm 50. I work in manufacturing, and you know what? That dude's off his rocker, man. <laughs> I'm sorry. Well, I, I think part I of it, too, it. Uh, again, I, I get where you're coming from, Doug. I just think that it's kind of what I was alluding to before is it's like, um, you know, the further you get away from huge historical events, and we're all guilty of it, the further you get away from it, obviously, the less it means to you, right? People don't feel... Um, pe- people have to be reminded of things like right. the Holocaust and things like that. And so I think of kids now who don't have any kind of sense. They were born after 9-11. So right. it's like, they, to, to make a joke about that, they wouldn't even think twice about it because they because it's not malicious. Right. It's just, it, it, it's they're, not they're, on their radar. It isn't tied to the event. Yeah, it's not on their they're radar. Tied to the event. And so yeah. I think, so in the break here, and people text me, they're like, you know, there's uh, there's black kids in green who think this kind of stuff's hilarious so they wouldn't give it a second thought. I fully understand that. Like, it's not on their radar. They're going to school with these kids. I guess in my brain, I go, how did you arrive at this, though? Right. Yeah, it's weird. I don't know. It's just so prevalent now, you know, and and, and it just seems like, you know, over the last eight years, for some reason, people just think it's okay to be racist, you know? And and it really sucks because a lot of those things, this is just my own personal experience, you know, a lot of these people I love, they're my family, they're my friends, you know? Yeah, of course. Yet, for some reason, they were able to get twisted in a way that I would have never seen coming. That I probably would have fought for somebody, to, for someone to call them racist, and now it's just all I see, you know, and it sucks. It's a, it, it does. It's a, it, we've all and we've all um, been exposed to that, too, in our families in one way or another. I think it's kind of fair to say because... 
you know, families, yeah. people who are groups of people who can be related can also be very, very different people. And, and uh, not everybody's doing the same very thing. Much. Okay. Thank you, Doug. I appreciate it, pal. Thanks, Doug. No problem. Mm. You guys do a great show. Thank you, sir. I appreciate it. Do a boat show. Oh. I want to take you to a gay bar. You sent me this video of this girl calling the, the, oh, yeah. the gay club. Let's go. Is this real? I, I, I mean, don't know, but it was very funny. This girl on Instagram, all her videos, gonna, though, are like wasting scammers' time, though. So she's an Indian girl, and she's like, yeah. I call Indian scammers and just keep them on the line and waste their time. So maybe it is, but yeah. she calls, and obviously she's goofing around, but she's trying to not... Um, she's trying to not laugh. She calls a gay club on speakerphone and says, can you ban my husband because he can't stop going to your club? <laughs> and have we five have five kids. kids. <laughs> yeah. Oh, and my gosh. The yeah. guy's like, ma'am, I'm not. Um, I'll just play this here for yeah. you. I'll put it on my Instagram story if you want to hear the uh, uncensored version at Bill Squire. <laughs> well, I don't think this is. I'm thinking that's what I'm going to play, right? Well, don't play the whole thing because there's definitely some f words and the other f word in it. Well, it's got a yeah. gay slur in it, but that's yeah. there's no f words, are there? I'm pretty sure there was. Well, okay, I'll yeah. dump it if it happens. Yeah. But I listened to it this morning. I thought that there was mm. there is a gay slur in it, yeah. but it's she's talking to a guy at a gay club. Well, the gay guy says Hi, it. I was wondering if a man with the name Abdullah Ibrahim was at your strip club last night. I'm sorry, ma'am. We're not in the habit of taking the names of our clients. I was just wondering if you can ban him. Ma'am, we don't even get names of people who are coming in here. We're not banning anyone. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I'm his wife, and he keeps cheating on me with twinks from your club. I just, I need him to stop. Ma'am, that is a very serious accusation. <laughs> but we have five kids. Can you please get him to stop? Ma'am, your fertility has very little to do with my job. <laughs> she's really laid it on thinking yeah. she's like like covering her face so she doesn't, doesn't laugh. laugh. Well, because his responses are so, like, he's somewhat professional still. Yes. But he's very funny. So, like, like the response of... Your fertility? <laughs> <laughs> it's not his first rodeo, yeah. as it were. This person is coming to our club. He is doing so with his own free will. This is really isn't our problem, ma'am. It sounds like maybe you want to speak to a marriage counselor. But it's five kids. Ma'am, I... <laughs> and I I'm pregnant. I can't. I can't. <laughs> wait, 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 sorry. That's, that's okay. <laughs> wow. How long have you known he's been coming to our club? He missed the birth of our fourth child because he was at your club and he used my credit card. Girl, this is honestly starting to feel like a bit of a non-consensual trauma dump. <laughs> you are obviously very funny. A non-consensual trauma dump. Such great language right oh, there. Oh man, I'll tell you what. <laughs> If you knew that he was coming to our club and you made more babies with him, oh, I don't even know what you're still doing with him. Is he rich? He's really poor. Girl, you have got to make better decisions. Either way, I don't think... He's really poor. I, mean, I don't even care. What are you if, doing with him? I don't care if this is real or not because it's, it's still very funny. If it's real, it's well written. Yeah. yeah. I can or help. Fake is, really is this person a threat yeah. to our community in any way? No, but he, he just won't be loyal to me. Well, so long as he's a loyal customer, ma'am, that's the only thing. We, we're a business. What is wrong with you? I'm just asking you to ban him. Like, why can't What's you do that? What's wrong with me? What's wrong with you? I'm not the one who's making five babies with a faggot, <laughs> sweetheart. <laughs> All right. Um, <laughs> That's the, uh, But she's like yeah. holding her nose and covering her mouth. And oh, God. Five babies. And it goes on and on and on. I don't know that there are other F words in there, but. I don't remember. Oh. Uh, that was the she falls stopper. off her chair at the end. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's funny. But most of her videos are all like, oh, I'm calling Indian scammers and wasting their time. She's kind of cute. Yeah. Czar the effing star is her um, handle there. Stand up comedy, Bill. That's what her bio says. Oh, I do stand up stand -up comedy. Stand up comedy. You do? Yeah, it'll be at uh, Retro Inc. and uh, Wadsworth this Saturday. There's uh, only a few tickets left, so get them. Let's sell it out. Get that uh, sell out. Well, all her shows are in Canada, so oh. I bet she's Canadian. Hmm. She'll be in London, Ontario. Oh, these are all early September dates. Anywho, she's the comedian, too. Hmm. Come see me live on tour. All right, well, yeah, that's kind of funny.
You know, we haven't. Remember, we used to play a game called Steakhouse or Gay Bar. Yeah. Because they they can be very similarly named. And the conceit of the game was that um, boy, it's hard to tell if an establishment is a steakhouse or a gay bar. And hilarity would ensue. What, do you think hilarity would still ensue? Yes, I honestly. Think I mean, I think we should bring these back, but like actually bring people in to the Duncan Performance Studio and do it there. <laughs> oh do yeah, it live. Like do it. Yeah. Like just take like like once a quarter. Yeah, we'll have we'll make it a big thing, and have uh, like a game show in there. Send send out uh, an email. Yeah. Hey, anybody who wants to play steakhouse or gay bar we'll on the Alan Cox show today? We can, yeah, we can make it a whole thing. Well, do you want to test it out? You'd be the only contestant, but... I mean, right now. Yeah. Yeah. Do you want to test it out? We haven't played this in a long time. Why don't we play... Why don't we get someone to call in and I'll play against somebody? Okay. Somebody want to call and play Steakhouse or Gay Bar against Bill? Let's go. 216-578-1007 or 800-348-1007. Connor, whoever calls in first, somebody calls and wants to play against Bill... In Steakhouse or Gay Bar, you can just put them on hold, and then I'll pick them up, and you two crazy kids can go at it. Is the phone ringing off the hook? People might not want to play. Oh, they might not want to play? Might be. Well, there are also a lot of people that probably haven't played this in a long time. I know. So maybe we'll, let's let's give them a little tease here. Give me give me one. Uh, let me get, hold on. Steakhouse or Gay Bar. All right, so, yeah, the way that it works is I just give you the name of an establishment, mm-hmm. and then you tell me. Stay customer game. All right. Okay, the first place is called The Wrangler. Oh, okay. now everybody's, now everybody's oh, calling. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Who is this? Hello. Dustin. Who? Dustin. Dustin. It's Dustin. Dustin, we're going to play Steakhouse or Gay Bar. You know how to play it? Yeah. All right. All right, well, the first one is the Wrangler. Bill, right. this goes to you. This one goes to me. All right. Yep. I'm going to go Steakhouse. Ooh. Mm, I'm sorry. Right. The Wrangler was a gay bar. All right, Dustin, are you ready? Yes, sir. Okay, the place is called Claim Jumper. Claim Jumper. Gay bar. Sorry, Claim Jumper is a steakhouse. Bill, you ready? Yeah. Okay. I'm just going to go down the... the yeah, go, yeah. I mean, through the callers here. Oh. Right? Oh, we're gonna, if or they, should I keep Dustin? Because he, he got one wrong. Okay, me, so yeah, get a new... Let me go to new, Liz. Yeah. All right, Liz. I'm here. Okay, Bill, this one goes to you. All right. So far, nobody's gotten one right. Ben and Jax. Mm, I'm going to go... Ben and Jax. <laughs> uh, I'm, I'm going to go Steakhouse. You're going to go Steakhouse. Yeah. All right. Ben and Jack's is a Steakhouse. Again, I, I wish I knew where these places were. Hey, Liz. Yes. Your establishment is called Triple George. Triple hey, George. Bar. Sorry, Liz. Uh, that is a Steakhouse. Hey, Willie. Okay. Hey, Victor. Yes. You want to play against Bill? Yes. Okay. Uh, this one, next one is yours, Bill, right? Yeah. Liz got one wrong. This one's called Hole in the Wall. <laughs> Game <Gay> on. <laughs> <laughs> hole in the even Wall. Even if it's it, even, <laughs> yes. It would be a great name for a steakhouse, yeah. but it's, uh, okay. Hole in the Wall. <laughs> Jeez. A little on the nose. Yeah. All right, Victor, yours is Tavern on K-Mac. Steakhouse. Let's see. Tavern on K-Mac. It's a gay bar. I'm so sorry, Victor. I guess they're trying to keep it kind of on the DL. Hey, Tia. Hi. What's up, y'all? Hi, hey, Tia. baby. You ready to play Young Bill Squire in Steakhouse? Absolutely. Or we haven't played this in a long time. so I've never played it. I'm excited. All right, Bill. This next one is yours. The Townhouse. Uh, I'm going to go Gabar. Yeah, the townhouse. Gays is, love uh, townhouses. It's a Gabar. <laughs> the cracker, even better. 
All right, Tia, yours is an establishment called Hind Quarter. <laughs> Now this one, this, this is, is gonna great. Be, this one's a perfect. This is tougher this is, than you think it's gonna yeah. be. I don't know what it is either, oh. but this is a coin oh. flip. Hind quarter. Hind quarter. I am gonna go gay bar. Uh, oh, hind quarter, a steakhouse. Thank you, Tia. So sorry. Hey, Tony. Yes. Are you ready? I am. All right, Bill, the next one goes to you. I'm on a little bit of a roll here. Um, BLT Prime. I'm going to go I'm going to go Steakhouse. Ooh, oh. sorry, BLT Prime. <laughs> Butt lettuce and tomato. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> All right. Uh, but, um, buys lesbians and trans transgender prime. patrons. <laughs> yeah. All right, Tony, yours is <laughs> 168 York Street. I'm going to say. Very gay vague. Bar. It's just an address. 168 York Street. I'm going to say gay bar. Sorry, boy, the callers are not having any luck whatsoever. Uh, hello, Mike. Yo. Are you ready to take on Bill Squire? Oh, I'm so ready. All right. Bill, the cork and cleaver. Uh, steakhouse. Sorry, the cork and sometimes, yeah. <laughs> sometimes you just never, <laughs> ever know. Oh, what a bummer. All right, um, Mike, are you ready? Hit me with it. All right. Juicy Lucy's. <laughs> I'm, I'm going to go gay bar. He's going to go gay bar. Oh, and... It is a steakhouse. It is a steakhouse. Oh, yeah. oh, I'm so sorry, Mike. Hey, Allie. Yes. Are you ready? I am. All right. The next one goes to Bill Squire. Are you ready, Bill? I'm ready. Envy. E N V Y. Uh. This one feels almost too easy. Yeah. Which is what what throws me off. But I'm gonna go. Gay bar. Hmm. Damn it. I would have never guessed a steakhouse called Envy, but yeah. okay. All right, Allie. Are you ready? I am. Yours is the Silver Rail. <laughs> oh, that's full gay bar. <laughs> oh, it is a gay bar. Oh, that's that means Silver Allie, Foxes hang out. Allie yeah. gets to hang on. Yeah. All right, Bill. All right. The Cash in Country. Two ends in in. The Cash in, in country. country. The Cash in Country. I'm going to go Steakhouse. Uh, I'm so sorry. Um... All right, uh, Allie, your next one is called Switch. Oh, I would have to say Gay Bar. Oh, my goodness. Uh, switch is a steakhouse. Somebody named a steakhouse. Thank you, Allie. Somebody named a steakhouse Switch. It's the hardest game in the world. What the hell is going on? Yeah, we got right we yeah. got 100 people over there in that yeah. Duncan studio. All right. We play Steakhouse or Gay Bar, and we can play all of them. We can play all the old games. What We had... Uh, we can accept some new drunk or kid stories. Yeah, we had a ton of them. We had about, uh, you know. What else did we have? We had a whole bunch of I stuff. I can't remember what they were. Yeah. Scooby-Doo or politician, was that it? <laughs> politician or Scooby-Doo villain. Yeah. We played that. Yeah. yeah. Well, that's all the time we have for Steakhouse Steak Gay Bar. Or Gay Bar. Yeah. Right. All right. Well, thank you, everybody, for all of us here at Steakhouse or Gay Bar. Uh, yes.